Hello everyone, today we're going to be taking a look at how to properly decoy in our extreme. This guide is mostly going to be about when not to decoy, as I see a lot of tricksters constantly throwing out unnecessary decoys which just slow down the runs. I'm going to start by talking about minion clearing, then the mini bosses, and then RX3 himself. So if you want to skip to any of the sections, I put chapters in so you can easily skip to whichever part you would like. Alright, so let's get straight into it. As I said, I'm going to be starting with minion clearing. Usually, I see a lot of tricksters just throw out decoys for every single minion, which in my opinion just slows down the clearing time because minions will either circle the decoys and shoot out shots at unpredictable directions, which makes them harder to hit and less safe to go in. If you just let every minion run at the group, it's a lot easier to hit constant shots, as well as melees can do damage much easier. The only time you should decoy anything is if a green portal spawns. You can also speed up the clearing by rushing ahead in each room with a ghostly prism or tier 0 prism and dragging as many minions as you can to the group. Now onto the mini bosses. I'm going to be starting with Besa. First off, if you tend to use your prism for DPing in Besa, I would switch over to a prism which doesn't have a decoy like ghostly prism because you really shouldn't be decoying in the whole fight, except in a few phases. First phase for when to decoy is keep them covered. In this phase, you should send decoys to the middle of the room so that the falcons get thrown to the middle instead of the group so that the group can safely do damage to Besa without worrying about the exploding falcons. Another phase where you can decoy is control the outside. Here, using a brain of the golem, you can put down decoys while you're running in front of Besa. This makes Besa sometimes shoot the decoy is behind him or to the side of him and therefore reducing the amount of shots sent towards the group and making it easier for everyone to push in and do damage. If you have a decent DPS group you don't have to worry about the next phase most of the time because if he gets staggered and control the outside he is most likely dead. However if the DPS of the group isn't great you should keep in mind that your decoys could mess up the next phase if you're too close to Besa. Next up is Lucorix. Decorix is also a pretty straightforward mini boss as you simply have to keep decoys behind him for the first and third phase when he is on the north or south side of the room. To consistently decoy behind him, I usually use this area of the carpet to line up decoys so they go directly behind him. Next up is Gemsbok. Decoys in Gemsbok are essential for the group safety and DPS. Without decoys, Gemspock is significantly harder and will take much longer because people won't be pushing in as much. In all the phases before the coin phase, you should try to always keep decoys behind the left and the bottom platform as well as the middle of the room because usually everyone groups up on the bottom left of the room. If there's already a good trickster decoying the left and the bottom platforms, what you can do to help out the group is to go to the opposite side of the room and keep the top and the right platform decoyed as well. The other phase you have to decoy is the second to last phase where the group has to chase gems to push him into the next phase. Here I usually decoy as many platforms as I can right before the phase starts and then just keep following him around, throwing decoys behind him so the group can push him easily to the last phase. Last mini boss is Dama. In Dama, the first time you have to decoy is after the tentacle phases. Here, you just throw decoys in the middle of the room on top of Dama because if it's green portal phase, you decoy the portal so it doesn't chase anyone and in red portal phase, you decoy the armor breaking bombs and the exposing shots that Dama shoots. However, if you have a good group with decent DPS, you will not even see any of these phases. The only other phase you can decoy in Dama is Suns. In Suns, you can decoy on top of Dama and to the left and right of the group so that the targeted armor breaking shots are not targeted at the group. This helps out a lot in this phase as there are a lot less shots to dodge and you will not get armor broken. And finally, we are going to look at decoying O3. The main reason I started making this guide is because I always see so many tricksters who pre-decoy every phase. And I find this the most annoying thing tricksters can do because it can slow down a few of the phases. Instead of pre-decoying every phase, you should only be using your brain reactively for decoying. 
Brain is very useful in the O3 fight because it allows you to very quickly decoy the phases where decoy actually helps. The only phases where you should decoy are Fate, Gaze, Fleeing is Futile, Nowhere to Run, and Armor Crumples. Every other phase, decoys are useless or they slow down the fight. Because if you decoy Melz, Shield Bashes, or Panic and Scream, it might jump away from the group, which just makes it a lot harder for the group to do damage. The way you decoy Fate is you stand on top of Oryx but slightly towards the opposite side of the group. So when he starts shooting his shotguns, the shotguns are shot away from the group. When decoying Gaze in pre-exalted, you can do the same thing as with Fate, but when Oryx is in his exalted phase, you should try to get two decoys down, which are both away from the group, as Oryx shoots out two separate shotguns. With armor crumples and nowhere to earn, you can also decoy on the opposite side of the group for extra shotguns to go the other way or you can decoy right on top of him and he will shoot out his extra shotguns towards the right. However, you should only decoy armor crumples if the DPS of the group is good because when Oryx stands on the decoy it is a lot harder for melees and dagger classes to go in for damage. With fleeing is futile, you can simply just put a decoy right on top of him and he will just rotate around it. But again, I would only decoy futile if the DPS of the group is decent, as it is a lot easier for everyone to go in for damage while he is chasing the group. It is also important after Celestial to only put down one brain decoy and not use him anymore after he actually started shooting, because if your decoys last too long, you might target the decoy when beginning his teleport before the next phase and he might get fling into the group or away from the group. Every time you see that the next phase isn't one of the phases you should decoy, you should instantly switch over to coin or any other DPS prism to maximize your DPS. In conclusion, do not pre-decoy. Please use your brain as well as your brain of the column and only decoy phases where decoys are necessary. If you enjoyed the video, please consider liking it as it helps me out a lot and also subscribe if you want. And yeah, have a nice rest of your day. See ya.